try to, as much as possible, connect to the energy that's here. But every single one that we go to, or every connection that we make, is something that, that comes from a very deep place. But one of the, if not the most important one, every place we go connect, that energy has to come here first, get purified before it can be elevated. Every single one. Those of us who went to Rabbi Meir Balanes or, or any other connections that will make this entire trip. The moment we leave that place, that connection comes to these waters to remove our ego, to remove anything that blocks us from having a real connection. If you've been on a trip before, some places you connect, some places you don't connect as much. It's not because the sage isn't great, it's because of our negativity. Because we're blocking that connection. What happens is that connection comes here and gets purified. So we're actually at the place that that we can we can guarantee that our connections, our spiritual connections, our our physical connections, people, family, any blockages, come here, remove those blockages. We know that when the light created the vessel, there was perfect unity. But we wanted to earn that. So curtains were created. This is one of the only places in this world that could remove all the curtains to let us see and not be blinded all the time. This is, this is the one place in the world that our curtains get removed. And, and peace doesn't have to start with a million people loving a million people. Peace can start with one person loving somebody else. So one of the connections we want to make, besides our own personal or prayers, another connection we want to keep in mind while we travel these wars is that many wars have been fought, many people have died on, on really a small piece of physical land. But there's so much hatred and, and lack of human dignity. And we want to be an example. Our human dignity should be example for this entire region of how to act with each other, how to act with ourselves. And through that, through that we could we could really connect to peace here and peace everywhere. Our positive energies have great positive effects. Our negative energies also have great negative effects. And we have to make sure that we're constantly working, constantly moving. And the only time when we we feel and, and, and that we don't have, we can't continue, but we for sure will fail. That is a time when we fail. We're, we're bound to make mistakes, but the question is, are you making a mistake or are you giving up? People who give up can't continue. It says that, that when Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, Baal reveals that the reason why they were kicked out wasn't because they sinned. Everyone sins. Everyone was meant to sin. But the reason why why they were kicked out is because they felt they felt they didn't belong anymore in the Garden of Eden. And no matter how great or not our life is, there's a part of us that's in the Garden of Eden. The only time we get kicked out of the garden is if we feel that we don't belong. If we feel that we don't we don't have the, the merit, we don't have for whatever many reasons we give up on ourselves and then we get kicked out of the Garden of Eden. So as we look at the, the Sea of Galilee from this side and Golan Heights over there and to the left is Syria, not to forget, let's try to bring some peace to this region. Thank you very much. Rabbi Akiva was so holy, not only was his physical soul and his physical body holy when he was here, but even once he passed away, there is no negativity. When Moses was on Mount Sinai and God says, you're gonna bring, you're gonna make, you're gonna bring the revelation, Moses said, but there's a higher soul than me that's going to be coming to this world. That person should reveal. He says, it's Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva is the highest soul to ever come to this world. The highest soul to ever step foot on this physical planet. That is who we are by now. Rabbi Elimelech of the Rabbi Melech, he was a student of the student of Bajam. He was a very big soul that came to this world. And he, and he leaves this world, goes up to heaven, and they ask him, did you study? 
says, you know, I did it, but not enough. Did you pray? He says, I did, but not enough. Did you share? He says, I did, but not enough. They ask him every single question they ask him, he says, not enough. So he says, okay, the heavenly courts aside, and he's, he's convinced that he's going to hell, that he didn't do enough. And he put his head down. And he looked up the floor. Because he couldn't believe that he belongs in heaven. And his students who've seen him in dreams and had messages from him, or gone to his grave and seen him, they say his head is still down. Because he can't believe he's in the garden of Eden. Now if Eli Melech, who is a great soul, has his head down in the garden of Eden, we should think twice before we pick our head up, before we think we're so great, before we think that we've done anything. Because his head is still down. Who are we and what have we done to be able to think we're so great? So, yes, every single person is special and we all have a job. But the moment we think we've done anything, that day, we really can't do anymore. We really, our job is done. And we won't be able to continue. We should try to work on oneself to get to the level where we don't think we're somebody. That, where it starts affecting others, where we expect from others, and we lose appreciation. We keep our head a little, always a little down. Because if probably the mouth can keep his head down, we can also. One day, in this cave, all of, of, of the Zohar, the, the beginning of the revelation started in one day. Right in this cave was, was the beginning of the revelation, of, of the beginning of the change of the world. So that means that the, the biggest of journeys could just start with that one step. And, and it created a real revolution. What, what, the, what, what, the, the, what was revealed in this place can, it created a huge revolution. We're either connected or we're not. The Rav and the campus before us and your teachers and us, we file through a, a field. We make a, a road for them, for you to come and, and go through. And um, it's also important that you make a way for somebody else to come through. Because when you're lost in the field and there's no pathways back, you have absolutely no idea how to get home. But when someone's been there and gone home, you could just go through that path. And it's important, especially here at the Idra, which is where the first path was ever created. And um, I don't know exactly what was mentioned to you before you came here, but uh, how many days and nights and years was Rabbi Shimon here with his nine students? One day. One day, right? Okay, you got that. <laughs> the one day. Teachers be decided. Rabbi Shimon's teacher, Elijah the prophet, did not come that day. He did not come. The Zohar says that he had other things to do. But that doesn't really make sense, right? One was Moses, who used to come to him, and one was Elijah the prophet. And they both left him to be. Because it was his time to reveal his life. So, when we don't have our teacher, or we don't have anything, and it's just us by ourselves, this is, this is the time to connect to here and, and to this whole north of Israel. For sure none of us have actually done our day yet. If we're all a little bit lost, sometimes not totally fulfilled, sometimes not totally happy, it's because we haven't had our day yet. Our day where we could say, if I die today, I've accomplished everything I needed to do. And part of us may actually suffer from something. But know that our, 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 our suffering or our pain at some point has to go because it's a distraction from what we actually have to do. That we could actually accomplish what we came into this world to do. Because part of our Kabbalah work is Oh my God, I'm depressed, oh, I'm, I'm upset, I'm angry, I'm revengeful, and all that. 
That's part of our work. Part of our work is getting rid of our distractions. And that works for a year, two, three, whatever. At some point, enough with excuses, enough why you can't do something. It's time to do something. At some point, you have to stop with um, this, I'm that, I'm, I'm lazy. At, at some point, at some point, you have to take action. Become like Abhi Shimon and do what you need to do. Accomplish what your soul came here to this world to accomplish. And that's part of what we connect to here, is accomplish what we need to accomplish. Each and every one of us have maybe an emptiness we need filled, and that's okay to ask for. But part of our asking at these sites, part of our asking is, help me to achieve what I need to do. Because I actually went to Rabbi Yochanan and Zakai Saturday night. And uh, on his grave it says, if you've learned anything or accomplished anything, don't need you so great. Because that's why you were put in this world. The Shem Kach Notzanta. That is why you were put into this world. And he's thinking that people actually take themselves that seriously that they accomplish what we came here to do. But all of us, me, myself, no, we haven't yet come to do what we came here to accomplish. There's so much more that, that our souls come to do. And part of our asking needs to be guide me, help me. Show us the path of where we actually have to go. It's so great to see all of you. I'm sure you're going to have a rest of an amazing journey wherever you go, whatever connections you do. And um, please think about the rope when you go. Just to make him on his path. Think about the people that we know that need help personally and then just think about the world. Think about just helping this, this universe of art get to its next level. Thank you very much. Um, one thing that I shared with, with Arbas, um, this is the first place that that is documented that people actually went to visit Sadiqim. When Kalev was coming to, with the 12 spies were sent by Moshe, Kalev, it says, Vayavod Hebron, and he came to Hebron, and it says that he went to pray at, at, at this site. It's the first documented place that someone actually went to the, 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 the souls of the righteous to ask for help. So we're walking in the foot, footsteps of Kalev, who was then successful in his, in his, uh, in his endeavor not being influenced by the negativity around them. Now, in our life, almost there's not a day that doesn't go by that we're not influenced by what's around us. There's not a day that goes by that, that we don't have some negative thoughts in our head. No day that, that doesn't go by that, that something doesn't happen. That's why we come here. 